Could black holes hold the key to unlocking a quantum theory of gravity and a deeper understanding of space and time? Let's delve into the fascinating world of black holes. Hi there, I'm Brian Cox, a professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester, and today we'll explore why black holes are more than just mysterious entities in space. They might be the crucial pieces to solving the puzzle of the universe. Black holes have a special region called the event horizon, where we believe we understand the physics at play. However, there's a significant challenge, our two fundamental theories, quantum theory and general relativity, seem to clash. The quest to merge them into what's known as a quantum theory of gravity is a top priority for theoretical physicists. In a way, black holes are pushing us to deepen our understanding of space and time, making them the key to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. The concept of black holes dates back to the 1780s and 1790s when two thinkers, Mitchell and Laplace, independently pondered the idea of escape velocity. This is the speed required to break free from the gravitational pull of an object. They envisioned massive stars where the escape velocity surpassed the speed of light, making them invisible. This laid the foundation for the idea of black holes. Now, what does a black hole look like? Imagine an event horizon, a boundary between the external universe and the black hole's interior. If you cross this boundary, even at the speed of light, escaping the gravitational pull becomes impossible. However, describing the event horizon as a place where time stops has perplexed researchers throughout history. The real mystery lies at the center of a black hole, the singularity. Picture it as an infinitely dense point resulting from the collapse of a massive star. However, in the realm of general relativity, the singularity isn't a spatial location but rather a moment in time, the end of time itself. Despite years of study, the nature of this singularity remains elusive. A significant breakthrough in black hole research came with Stephen Hawking's groundbreaking work. He introduced the concept of Hawking radiation, revealing that black holes emit particles and have a temperature according to quantum theory. In essence, the seemingly geometric entities predicted by Einstein are not static, they glow and evolve. As particles near the event horizon come into existence, some escape into the universe, causing the black hole to shrink. In conclusion, black holes are not just cosmic anomalies, they are the keys to unlocking profound insights into the very fabric of our universe. The interplay between quantum theory and general relativity, the enigma of the singularity, and the unexpected phenomena like Hawking radiation make black holes central to our quest for a deeper understanding of the cosmos. One day, black holes won't be around anymore. They have a limited lifetime, and eventually, everything inside them gets returned to the universe. But here's the twist, what happens to all the stuff that fell into a black hole? According to Einstein's theory, it goes to the singularity, an enigmatic region at the end of time. But one day, poof, it's all gone, leaving only Hawking radiation, a collection of particles produced near the event horizon. Now, the big question is, could we, in theory, collect all that Hawking radiation throughout a black hole's life and retrieve information about everything that fell in? This is a crucial question because, in our universe, information is conserved. If you burn a book, in principle, you can reconstruct it by gathering every piece of it. The problem arises when you bring black holes, quantum mechanics, and general relativity together, leading to what's known as the black hole information paradox. Fast forward to today, ongoing research suggests that black holes might not erase information after all. The general view now is that you could collect the radiation and, in theory, reconstruct what went into the black hole. This revelation hints at a deeper theory of gravity, challenging the fundamental nature of space and time. In simple terms, some scientists propose an idea called emergent space-time, suggesting that space and time might not be fundamental but rather emerge from some smaller, unknown components, possibly linked to quantum entanglement. This is what we refer to as the quantum theory of gravity. To understand the origin of the universe, including whether it had a beginning, we need to grasp the nature of space and time. Black holes, being observable objects in nature, push us to ask precise questions about the essence of space and time. Einstein once said that by closely examining nature and persistently seeking answers, we might catch a glimpse of something deeply hidden, the profound structure of reality itself. 
The path ahead is uncertain, but the pursuit of understanding hints at something extraordinary, revealing the hidden intricacies of nature and reality. If you're keen to explore more profound ideas from leading thinkers, consider becoming a Big Think member for early access to videos and full interviews. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiry.